Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. It's time to put a bow on this gift of a game. We've wrapped up all 66 fruit. We're headed to find Captain Olimar at the Formidable Oak. It's the only place he could be. Let's go ahead and travel over there and see what nasty gross goos await us. There's been plenty of goo in this game. I imagine there's only going to be more. Okay, so we've touched down in front of the the base of this large shaft. And the Captain Alomar signal is coming from inside, so we must be around somewhere. Louis confirms this. But we can't waste any time, that is correct. This specific day is very difficult. This is probably easily this is easily the hardest part of the game. So that's just something to keep in mind. Is this will require a lot of finagling to do correctly. Let's just say this may or may not be my first try. You'll have to see for yourselves. Let's go ahead and check out the data file. Spotted some glittering gold material on top of the tree. I think I smell treasure. I'll head up there first thing tomorrow to investigate. Lou's refusing to go for some reason, but I'm not going to let him come between me and some undiscovered riches. All right, Captain Olimar, pump the brakes, you gold digger. Jeez. Never seemed like that kind of person in Pikmin 1 and 2, so I'm not sure why they are changing the way he is. But there he is. Ugh. Looks like a craft section gone wrong. This weird golden turkey. He's trying to pet him. That doesn't look consensual. Okay, well... I'm sure it won't mind if we interrupt here for a second. <clears throat> Excuse us. Um, we just like to... Oh my goodness. It is sucking, Captain Olimar. And it's turned him into a Christmas ornament. It's not even Thanksgiving. Well, when in doubt, charge your Pikmin. Okay. Let's give Captain Olimar a lift. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, awesome. Let's try this again. Seems if our rock Pikmin can help him out, but they're behaving strangely. Looks like their intuition's a little cloudy right now. They're not sure what to do. What if it has anything to do with that giant goo monster? We're gonna need somebody to carry the flag for us for a moment and lead the team, and that will be Brittany, literally. Alf and Charlie will take things from behind, as they always do. But we've got to find an alternate way through the formidable oak. So Brittany will charge ahead. We don't really know what's ahead of us, but the pink Pikmin will accidentally pop out of this ant hole, the butthole of the ground, and have obtained nothing. So... That was a great use of our time. Good job, winged Pikmin. You should be proud of yourselves. So, thankfully nothing will interrupt us going forward. We just keep going. Find Brittany. Oh no, it is the goo. Aw, ew. And it's absorbed a Rubik's Cube. You know how much I hate goo with a hobby. Ugh. Looks like a giant wet peanut. Oh, and it's invincible too? Oh my goodness. Alright, well... Being invincible, best thing you can do is run, right? And that's what we'll do. Let's, let's skidoo. No sense in sticking around to find out. I will tell you though, the situation we're in currently, that goo monster will pursue us endlessly. There's nothing we can do about it. It's always gonna follow us. So we're gonna trudge on ahead and make ourselves a bit of a path here. So first things first, we're gonna kill these bulborbs, or try to kill these bulborbs. All right, very good. Very, very good, all right. And we will send Brittany on up ahead to follow us. The monster, for whatever reason, is only interested in Captain Olimar. So it has no interest in us at all in any way. Nothing we do from here on out will impact it, so you can use our blues with the most of them right now. 
great. No, back off. And everything that you kill turns to- oh, we lost one. Everything that you kill turns to goo for some reason. Not entirely sure why that is, but... The main thing that you have to do here is just keep moving. While we are moving, the goo monster will endlessly follow us, like I said. So it's around the corner. It's going to be coming up and around. We'll see where it moves here in a moment. Usually it's... It's pathing is a little strange. I'm not entirely sure how it chooses to follow us. I think it's... It's coming from behind, so we will just... We're just going to make loops. That's what we have to do. You just have to keep going up and around, and making loops, while you use Charlie and Alf to create paths. So that's what we will do. The goo monster will just essentially make itself stuck. So it's just gonna keep following up and around. Everybody else will go this way. Just make sure you're mindful of Brittany. Because you don't wanna forget where she where she was. So we'll have her keep moving. We're just gonna keep making loops over and over and over again. Alright, so now we can come in here. And we can fight some sheer grubs, which are very annoying and I hate them. We'll use our winged Pikmin to fight. Yes, thank you, Brittany. I do know that. I appreciate your your intuition. Brilliant. All right. No, Olimar is not in danger. The goo is coming in hot, though. So once again, we will just keep looping around. And this is very strange, but... What I'm actually doing right now, as I play, is I'm creating a bit of a shortcut. So, well, I'm trying to create a shortcut. We're not there yet. But thankfully the goo is very dumb, and it will just follow us around. Okay, so now we need to hurry, actually. Olimar's not in danger, he's fine. Let's see what this says in the moment. Today I had a terrifying dream, a dream in which Pikmin were carrying me back to the Onion after I'd been ravaged by creatures. Thought I shared a strong bond with them, but maybe that was just my wishful thinking. Might have to start sleeping with an eye open. You know, Captain Elmar, you just might. So that's good. Looks like I accidentally, um... Let's see where the goo is. Alright, the goo is... Yeah, thanks game. That's the one thing that's really annoying about this, is that the game is like... It just does not stop talking about it. It will just endlessly tell you. All right, let's see if our Pikmin will be smart and grab the bomb rocks for us, every one of them. Yes, okay, so we are in business. Olimar is not in danger. I mean, sort of, he's in danger. This is okay, though. So we'll have Brittany do one more lap for us. And in the process, once the goo is out of the main path, we can use Olimar to be a distraction. We'll have Charlie... And everybody else with the bomb rocks, we're actually going to send them back to the drake. Or not the drake, but headed back to the original way the drake was. So we're going to have them head back to the original way. It's convenient to use the go here function, but also it's not because sometimes you run into the goo when you don't want to. But the goo, the goose pathing will force it to go that way. It's going to all like bring it all the way around town, which is convenient. As Brittany tells us about Captain Olimar for the millionth time. But we're doing okay. So, taking this very slowly, what's convenient here is that the goo will have to go all the way around. So we should have enough time. So I will switch to sending Brittany back this way as well. We'll get rid of the automatic pathing of this. Stop it. Quit, quit, quit. Alright, and we should have bomb rocks. So here we go. We are going to go ahead and blow down this wall. This is actually... Um, a shortcut. Oh, that's not where I wanted that to go. Great. Awesome. So I wasted a bomb rock. You only need three, so hopefully I don't do this again. I've actually had runs in the past where I was playing this where I blew up most of my team. So we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and check this data file. If I can break down this wall, I'll be able to cut through the labyrinth and save myself some time. I wonder if there's any bomb rocks. Gee, I wonder if there's any bomb rocks. So, the way that we're going to have to go, and this is a huge shortcut, by the way, once I can actually have the game shift around. If you don't do this, it will take you more than one day 
to to finish what we're trying to do. There's a ton of extra crap that you'll be tasked with. We don't want to do that. So instead, we are going to take the shortcut. We're going to follow the lights. In a dark place where I could barely see my own feet, I discovered a familiar plant. If I recall correctly, they're called Bluminous Stemples. And they bloom under a strong light. Is there anything nearby capable of such a, a light? That's the kind of the lily pad looking things, the fuzzy ones. So if we remember, those things are the ones that we can walk on once we get the chance. So we have to build some bridges here, finish some circuits, and once we're done with that, we'll be able to light up the area. All right, so we should have a good enough of a lead on the, on the goo, and building this bridge right here isn't terribly difficult, but we just need to keep moving around. We're gonna send our blues and our rock. Nope. And our eventually our rocks. You can get out of the way, please. Let's knock down this wall. We're gonna hold on to our yellows. Our yellows are the ones that are the who remember the circuit collectors or creators. I shouldn't say collectors. I don't quite remember where the goo is right now, but we should be okay. Follow our pink Pikmin. All right, so. Looks like the bridge has been built, which is, or the wall has been knocked down. I don't know I said bridge. Bridges and walls. Yeah, see, I'm not very good with uh, structures. That's yeah, kind of my my failure. I have structuritis. I'm allergic to them. Can't remember names. We're going to continue to try to bump up the brightness in here. Bring them, bring the light. All right. So here's the, another half of bridge pieces. See, I'm doing so well. I'm not seeing puzzle pieces. Go, go for me. Look, I, we've come so far. Oh. And we can come through here. There is actually a circuit nearby, so we should be able to find it. As we continue to build a bridge. Where is the circuit? It is... So if we use yellow Pikmin, they will light up this area. That's very good for us. And we have to finish one more circuit, which we're about to do. Okay, so I would like my pink Pikmin to come back. All of you. Hello. Come back. All right. So we still have some that are just hanging out. Whoop. Nope. Don't fall down there. Whoop. All right. So the goo. Oh, boy. The goo, the goo has found us. We have been spotted by the goo, everybody. This is the annoying part. You just have to kite the goo around. And I'm not very good at this. Full disclosure, I'm probably going to screw this up. So we'll see. We're at about halfway through the day, which is nice. It actually almost helps sometimes to let the goo get you. Because then you can attack it. And it'll stun. Alright. So going as a big group is not the smartest thing I've done here. I'm actually trying to find where my pink Pikmin got stuck at. So we're come we're bringing it around town. We'll be back to the area where we were just a moment. We're gonna keep going. It's just a big loop. We need to turn on the other circuit to get this those luminous stemples or whatever they're called to light up. Show their bright shiny faces so we can rock, walk across them. Okay. So let's see. I think we're on the right path here. Okay, let's hit a couple more of these. Oh, there's our pink Pikmin that we're hanging out. And then we will take this little shortcut back to the other side. Come on through to the other side. And then we will go up the path here, across the bridge. Now, just make sure that you have those 10 yellows, because if you don't, then it's going to make this next part of creating the... Th oh, come on, the goo! <sighs> we went all the way around for nothing. No, let's, let's just... All right. I'm gonna kite the goo around here for a moment. Can you can you come on down here? Can you? Can you just can you just there we go. You're being a bit of a butt, and you know it. You look like you look like diarrhea. Let's go. Alright, back up the pathway here. Hopefully this will give us enough time to cross the bridge. And, cr and complete the circuit. That's the one thing I just want to do, but I can't. Because the game is being a huge butt. Alright, yellows, do your thing. Alright. 
So looks like the full pathway should be okay for now. The one thing that we need to do is we have to throw a captain. Oh, looks like we need to... There's more circuitry afoot. Alright, so we can go this way. Looks like all of our Pikmin can go this way. And throw them, and we'll need to throw a bunch of pinks. No, guys, where are you going with Captain Olimar? Hello, excuse me. I thought the whole thing was you were going to follow Brittany. Oh, we need yellows, too. Throw the yellows, Alf. All of them, all right. All right, so we will whistle everybody here, switch to yellows, and this should be the final circuit, I believe, that lights everything up. Okay. I have no idea where Captain Olimar is right now, so whoops. He certainly is in danger, because I have no- Oh, great! And they just ran right into it. That's cash. Alright, well anyway. When this happens, you have to attack it. When it's- No, 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 no. Guys, hello. Um, we're experiencing- This is pure chaos, and you're trying to have fun? There's no time for fun. Come back here. It's also a lot quicker when it steals your- Oh, don't run away. Where's it going? Oh, it's like... Now it's in behind us? I don't understand. Alright, so this is okay. We're okay. For now. This actually might be kind of helpful because... Now we can head back into the area and it's gotta regenerate, so... We should be able to have the clear pathway to get out. We just need to head back up the path here, and then we should be able to walk across. We opened up all of the pathings. Come on, Pikmins, let's go. Come on, Pikmin. Yeah, the goo is in hot pursuit. But yeah, sometimes it kind of helps almost to get captured because what that does... Nope, I don't want to do that. What that does is... No, stop it. I'm trying to explain. What that does is it lets you um, have a little bit of a breather. So, it looks like the way that we need to go to get out might be this way. So, we will traverse across these thingamajiggies to safety. And there is an arachnode in our way, which our pink Pikmin will have no trouble dispatching right now in revenge. Very good. Alright, everybody. We're doing pretty good with time, so... Oh, I don't want to drop Olimar. Uh, that's the crux of this operation, is that it's so easy to hit the wrong button and then you drop him. Alright, so now we need the pink Pikmin. Send them over there. They will lift up this clipboard for us. Hopefully. Take your time, guys. No rush. We're not being pursued by a disgusting slime monster. And they will be able to tip it all the way over for us. That sounds very nice. Alright guys, come on. Let's go. Um, hello, what are you doing? Excuse me. I have no idea. Oh, and we dropped Olimar again. Captain Olimar, I am so sorry. Disrespecting somebody of your rank. It is not gaining on us, we'll be fine. All right, so the game is basically telling us that it's got a bunch of different types of, um... You've got options here. So I'm actually gonna toss some of the Pikmin here of the various colors so we can have a little bit of everything. I hope the goo is coming. All right, the goo monster is, is, is after us. Oh boy, this is bad. You know what? Might just let him attack Captain Olimar here for a moment. So we'll make, I mean, we could just make it out. But I don't want to lose a bunch of my Pikmin. Yeah, we'll just have him soak up Captain Olimar here for a moment. We're using, we're using big brain strategy right now. That's what this is. Come on, hurry up. I don't have all day. 
I literally don't. I only have a little bit of the day. Yeah, 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 whatever. All right, attack is behind. Oh, don't go that way, you jerk. Oh, we were making so much progress. Where are you going? We don't have time for this, literally. All right. So we gotta make another trip around, that's fun. All right. So let's go ahead and check the co-pad and we want to head, this is a mess. We want to head back up here to this spot. So let's go ahead and run away. I feel like this is just going to be a mess no matter what I do. So hopefully I can finish this area today. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I know we've got some Pikmin lost along the way, but we'll catch them. Of course, I'm taking the long way. I'm not trying to rush here or anything, game. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about the fact that we're being pursued by a goo monster. All right, the Pikmin should be fine. I just want to make sure that we can scoop up any wayward Pikmin we have along the way. This is not the way to go. We want to go to this one. Because I'm being an absolute ding-dong right now. I went the wrong way. Where are Pikmin? Where is everybody? Oh, they're just taking forever. Take your sweet time, guys. I don't know if I can finish this area if I don't have, like, Captain Olimar in tow. Come on, hurry up. I'll give you some help. Or not. That's the one downside using Winged Pikmin. Oh, nope, the goo monster. Let's go. Run. Run, everybody, run. Run from the goo. We are just going to run from the goo. We will pick these red Pikmin quickly. Hurry. All right. I don't know what Pikmin we have left, but we should be okay. All right, let's run to the finish line. Can we make it? I don't entirely know how far this cave goes, but... I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, this looks normal. And we brought Captain Olimar out. We did it! Hooray! Oh boy. Um, this is terrifying. And Captain Alamar has been sucked up again. And this thing is huge now! What is happening? Well, we are not about to deal with this now, but you'll have to see what happens next time, everybody. Oh, goodness. And then it just casually shifts back. <laughs> I kind of love that, actually. It just kind of casually shifts back to the... Oh, I lied! You get to hear the song another time. I thought that, that was it wouldn't let us hear it. I also don't know if the fight is gonna... You know, obviously the fight will take place next time, but I don't know if it's gonna... Let us do it straight from here, or if I'm gonna have to... Go back through the... Through the tree. We'll find out. That was pretty good, though. Pretty clean run. Oh, goodness, giant goo. What have we gotten ourselves into, everybody? That's right, we did. So hopefully we can finish up this Let's Play in 75 episodes. I'm really nervous, I don't know. Could be bad. But yeah, day 24 in the books, that was pure chaos, absolutely. Lost a few Pikmin. There's going to be a few more that we lose going forward. This final clash is intense. That mysterious life form not only swallowed Captain Almar, but it also transmutated into some sort of humanoid. I don't... How, how do... How does Alf, Charlie, and Brittany know what humans are? It's gonna take everything we've got, but we'll take that thing down. And then we'll save Captain Olimar, and then we'll save Kopai. And then we'll be heroes. Let's do this. Signed, Alf. Bless your heart, Alf. You're not the one who actually has to do this. I am, and my butthole is full clench, so... Thank goodness for save screens, but 
that's it, everybody. So we made it through the formidable oak, and next time we will fight that disgusting golden goo. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Pikmin 3. I've been D-Mike. I'll see you next time. Bye.